Kafka is an interesting writer. He died in the 20s sometime, but he was way beyond everybody in his vision of what the world was really like. It's so stark somehow that it, it, it's scary in one way. He himself thought his writing was very funny. At the same time, he saw the world in, the, both in terms of the political world and the social world that we are involved with. He saw it in, in, with a clarity that very few writers have ever seen, and, and even true as of today. He had a strong visual image of what he was writing about. He could see what was happening, and he would describe it. Christopher Hampton, who is the writer who did that adaptation to turn it into an opera, he does the same thing. Uh, not everyone has that, and, but it's people who have it in varying degrees. But if you have it as, with the clarity that Kafka had, he basically can tell you the whole story. And, and then you, as the, as the reader, is like looking at a picture book. So, of course, that makes it flat easy to stage it because he tells you what to do. Sometimes the music can follow the picture exactly. The music is right on top of the image, right on top of it. But if we start moving away from it, and that's what we do in the theater, the further away you get from that image, it allows the, the spectator to participate in the interpretation. And that's one of the things that I would say in modern theater, in modern opera, in modern ballet, for one of the things that we like to do is to leave room for the spectator to help invent the story. I have some tricks that I have. We all have tricks, you have to have them. So what I do is this, let's say if I'm writing music for a commercial, my way of doing this, I look at the image once and I don't look at it again. And um, I try to write the music from memory, knowing that I will not remember it exactly. Now, the fact that I don't exactly remember it means that the music isn't exactly like the image. And it gives me that little bit of a distance, which becomes for the spectator, their way of seeing it in their own way. For most people, uh, I think this will be a, a piece of real entertainment. It's, uh, it's quite serious. It's also hilariously funny. It's kind of like a wise comedy, in a way. And at the same time, it goes to the heart of, of social questions very much. Mm -hmm.